Hey, welcome back to Real Fishing and Shooting with Gunner. I just want to do a teaser video for you here on some uh, ATI <coughs> stocks. Uh, they made big upgrades in the past, or recently, from what they had in the past. And I'm going to show you, here is a an older ATI stock that I used on a Winchester 1300 Defender and you can see this is all all molded in it's just hard plastic one little groove for your finger and the rest it's kinda like the stock AR um, grips and it's all plastic and I even actually put numbers on them so when I closed it in case anybody else in the family wanted to use it, they could close it down to a certain number and it would show in the window. But it had a nice, a nice rubber, nice, well, real nice thick rubber butt pad on it. But again, everything was plastic. And as you see, I watch, it would flex. Did it work? Yes. Yes, it worked fine. The only thing, and if it went for the 1300, so as you can see, you had to have the adapter with the angle on it, and it just kind of fit in there like that, then went through, and you actually unbolted this and ran the bolt through into the receiver of the, the shotgun and mounted it. No storage compartment in the bottom. It was just hard plastic. And like I said, I mean, the whole thing is... But it is Advanced Technology Inc. ATI. The only thing I did not care for, and you're not really going to be able to see it that well. If you look down in here, let me get this here a little better. If you look down in here, what attaches this to the handle section is just two little, and they look like drywall screws. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Probably not. No. Okay, so anyhow, that was it. That was then. Now, they've come up with some new stuff. And this is their newest system. And this is the, the Scorpion system for Winchester 1300. And as you can see, it's no longer in the box. I have it on the, on the uh, gun. I'm going to show you the differences here. Old style. New style. Now, now if you could see the differences that way. But it's definitely a much, much better system here. Much better. This grip is... Uh, rubber in the back it's a recoil absorbing rubber nice grip finger grooves an exceptional butt pad for recoil a lot a lot more sturdy system all the way around this is metal so they've really increased it now what I like is you still kind of you, you still have the the wedge section for the 1300 but this one's a little different. This one bolts in and screws in to the receiver of the shotgun. And then this back section and handle slide into it this way. They lock into it. doesn't shove in with just two uh, little drywall screws. This actually is a track system that locks into place. And then you have just one Allen head screw right there, and you even have the option for a sling. And it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't flex. It doesn't move. I mean, it's rock solid. Now, you may ask why there's a Surefire decal on here. Well, because I have this on the front. This is the Surefire uh, forward grip with light. Now, I want to show you. I do have the new ATI forearm and I will 
be installing this. Now, as you can see, this is not plastic. This is aluminum. Killer design. But what I like about this is you have the option to put a rail on the bottom on each side and then right here at 45 degree mark also so now you're gonna say well you're gonna get you're gonna lose your light well I have another surefire millennium light with the pad that I could put on here if I use this rail so I will be upgrading and then it won't be anything permanent I'll be switching back and forth as I feel needed uh, whatever mood or should arise or situation should arise if I want this one or if I want the other one I even have Crimson Trace uh, the grip light and laser combo I could put on with this rail with this system but I really what I'm really looking forward to is this 45 degree angle one because when you and this is unloaded I'll, I'll show you just to, so no one knows everyone knows it's unloaded but when you grab this like this and you have a handle down here when you go to rack it that's not a natural position but if you have it off to the side that's more natural well this new ATI forend will allow you to do that so I'm going to do a lot better video and I'm actually going to take this back apart and show you how easy it is to install and all the changes that need to be made and I'll even show the installation of this. I just wanted to put up a little teaser slash intro video of a sample of what it used to be to what they are. So if you used ATI in the past, or thought about using them, and then for the reason, for whatever reason, being mostly plastic, and you really didn't trust it, look into their new system. Now I will tell you, I have this Scorpion system grip right now installed on this installed on the Sega 12 which you'll also see coming up in the video and also on an AR-15 so no matter which gun I grab I have the same exact grip you gotta love that so anyhow thanks for checking in for this little video this little update and uh, watch real soon for a full video showing installation and everything this is just a teaser and oh, I also want to show you that ATI also offers a extension tube. You can pick. ATI offers everything you could ever want when it comes to stocks. Like I said, if if you've never given them the chance because of their old systems and that's all you know, forget about that. Check out their new stuff. It's great. All right, talk to you later.